Here at the Union Pacific Switching Station in North Little Rock, Arkansas, this sound is heard constantly. In fact, because some 60,000 rail cars pass through the North Little Rock hump yard each month as trains are constructed, it's essential that these switches operate properly. Here in North Little Rock, switches like this one open and shut constantly as the yard switches cars from one track to another to literally put together the various trains. They must be lubricated to operate properly. Union Pacific's Marcus Nicholson identifies the rail switches that his team lubricates and why it's so important to keep the switches properly lubricated. On the main line they uh, lubricate uh, M23s and then they lubricate GRS5s. Out here in the hump yard we lubricate uh, GRS mo uh, Model 6. Uh, in the bowl switches we they're uh, hydraulic switches uh, and I have seen maintenance away use it on their hand throw switches. What's the particular goal as far as putting this uh, lubricant uh, on the switch? What are you really trying to accomplish here? Uh, we're trying to keep the sw uh, switches graphite so that they don't rust up and bind when you're trying to throw them so that way they'll have a nice smooth transition from normal to reverse. The product used by Union Pacific here in Little Rock for switch lubrication is Momar Lubest Railroad Switch Lubricant. A lubricant that was specifically designed for this application with anti-wear additives as well as rust and corrosion additives to produce maximum protection during severe service conditions. Marcus fills his backpack sprayer with the Momar Lubes switch lubricant and with the help of co-worker Wesley Dinwiddie is now ready to demonstrate for you exactly how he applies the product for maximum switch lubrication and protection. Alright, what you do with this uh, I don't product is you spray it on the on the rail here where the switch points connect you spray it on the gauge plates and you go all the way down to the hill block okay and then you'll come over to the opposite side and you'll get some of the tie plates that the switch points uh, run on then you'll end up spraying the gauge plates all the way up to the very point of the switch And you will repeat the process on the opposite side. And that's all there is to it. How often do you uh, perform the procedure that you just performed for us today, Marcus? Here at the hump yard, at the test section switches, we do it twice a week since they have so many cars humped over them. But in the groups, it's done once a month. And before, we used to do it once a week in the groups, but the new product lasts long enough to do it once a month. In his many years with Union Pacific, Wesley Dinwiddie has been involved in switch lubrication and describes further how extensive the proper use of this product is in helping to make certain that the switching station runs efficiently and effectively. In the test section up there we have a main switch which is number 40 which is thrown just about every car that comes over the hill which is about roughly about a thousand times in a 24-hour period. We oil them switches up there twice a week. Winter, summer, spring and fall. The group retarders down here they get oiled once a month. Well the other product that we was using got oiled once a week now we went to once a month with y'all's product. The primary difference between the old product that you were using and the Momar product, what would you say? Uh, I like the Momar because it's got more tack in it and it seems to stay quite a bit longer. It doesn't gum up, it's uh, environmental safe, friendly, and uh, it's easy to clean, to sweep out when we get particles inside the switches, points. Even though less lubrication is required with the Momar Lubes Railroad Switch Lubricant, it is important to make certain that the product is applied safely. Obviously, Union Pacific safety regulations are followed to the letter when the product is being applied to tracks by UP personnel. It's also important that the person doing the spraying is balanced to prevent falls and comfortable. For that reason, we recommend the use of a backpack sprayer. 
Once again, here's Marcus to describe the backpack unit he's using to apply the switch lubricant. This one, you can just throw it on and go. The others, you had to sit there and pump them up, and then as soon as you were done, you'd have to bleed them off uh, to keep uh, from damaging the equipment. This one, what's great about it is you charge the battery up, you go out, you have constant pressure, so that means you can move from one switch to the other without having to sit there and pump the uh, sprayer up. So you recommend this sprayer for the application of this product? Yes, sir. I, de I definitely recommend it. Having used it, I cannot find anything better.